Indigenous traditional owners have reacted angrily to a decision by the Northern Territory Government today to allow Glencore's MacArthur River zinc mine to double in size. The government has given approval for the expansion against the advice of its own sacred sites body. The board members of the Northern Territory Government's Sacred Sites Authority have labelled the decision to approve the expansion of Glencore's MacArthur River Mine near Boralula as disrespectful. It was really shocked what they'd done overnight sort of thing and we felt really no good. Legally, all work on the mine site, which has the potential to damage sacred sites, must have a certificate from the authority to go ahead. In 2017, the authority rejected Glencore's assertion that it had permission to affect sacred sites from six custodians. They should be talking to the TO properly and get a proper agreement. The authority refused to give Glencore a certificate, allowing it to damage a sacred water hold called Jirn Mini, or to increase the height of the waste rock dump to level with the Barramundi dreaming site. It says Glencore must gain permission from more than 100 traditional owners. We gave them a chance to work with us, but they never done it. The Territory Government says the expansion can continue to go ahead now because the company can try again to get agreement from traditional owners later. They work through it. Some of the development to go forward, they have to continue those discussions with traditional owners and make sure that they do get uh, new approvals. But the authorities' board is accusing the government of risking another Dukin Gorge disaster. They're demanding the law be upheld, requiring a certificate before any sites are damaged. Our law, it's important to us. Our culture line is very important. And I think the company should be respecting it more. And so the government. Glencore has provided a statement saying it will comply with the Sacred Sites Act and it has robust processes in place to protect sacred sites. It says it will continue to work with the authority to gain permission to raise the height of the waste rock dump to 140 metres. Jane Barton, ABC News.